So I'm just chilling, and Kitty has decided my boob is a perfect place to take a nap. Is it comfy? <laughs> She's so goddamn cute. <laughs> Today is my birthday. I turned 25. I know I don't look it. I still look like a little Barbie. I know, but I am 25 today and it's my birthday. So I was like, hmm, what do I want to do today? I'm going to swim because I haven't swimmed once this week because I'm a dumb Barbie and also just I've been dealing with exhaustion, a lot of exhaustion lately. So I was like, all right, today I'm going to stream. So I'm going to stream and then I'm going to go see uh, the new Demon the Demon Slayer movie, Demon Slayer Mugen Train. I'm going to go see that in theaters as a little birthday present to myself. <laughs> I'm going to eat some pretzel bites and it would be awesome. Drink a lot of soda. And I thought, I bought, I was literally, I'm like, okay, I want to get myself something else for my birthday. And uh, my mom sent me money and she was like, all right, get yourself something nice. And I was like, all right. And then Steam just told me that Sam Max is on sale. And I was like, I know I am buying! So I bought Sam and Max Save the World because it's a nostalgic property for me, but not because I ever played the games. I don't even think I saw anyone ever play the games. I watched the show that my sister got me into when I was like maybe, I want to say six or seven. <laughs> maybe even younger it was a tv show i watched the shit out of it at my sister's house when i was younger and uh that's why it's a nostalgic property for me even though i've never actually played any of the games i have played other this era of games like i played a lot of uh escape from monkey island on the ps2 and then i played a lot of okay this is gonna be cringe i played pajama sam <laughs> i played a fuck ton of pajama sam <laughs> Other than that, that's mostly what I played. It was just Monkey Island, Pajama Sam. I think I might have played one of the Pup Pup games, but I don't remember. <laughs> Those are cursed games now. <laughs> I mean, Pajama Sam isn't that bad, but oh my god, Pup Pup is Pup Pup is really bad. <laughs> so, anyways, I haven't played a pony click adventure for a while, so I thought, fuck it, we're doing it with Sam and Max because I love Sam and Max. You don't understand. I love them. They are my soul. I also used to have, I don't know if I have them anymore, but I used to have a monkey <laughs> that I got for like Christmas one year and I named him Ignatius Cheese <laughs> after the fucking guy, the pirate dude in the starter town and the escape from Monkey Island. <laughs> my name is Ignatius Cheese and I thought that was a great name and I named my monkey that. I have a lot of weird stories of why I named my plushy things, like um, my plushy that I've had the longest, which I got also from my sister. Um, it is a bunny plushy with like a pink bow and like little spots on it. And I've had it since I was probably four or five. And I named it Butter. Because <laughs> that's what you name bunnies. <laughs> Anyways, moving on, I'm getting distracted. <laughs> All right, we're going to play Sam and Max. We're going to switch the screen over to the normal one. Because I am not doing that shit again. I am not that dumb again. <laughs> Anyways, and also, yes, I did shave my head. Which is why I postponed the stream. Because I had one of those moments where I was just like, My hair is too long. I need to fix it. So I was basically shaving. And then I was like, Oh yeah, I forgot. Every time I shave my fucking head. Because my hair is so fucking fine. And it's a bitch. And there's a lot of it. I literally have to go take a shower every time I shave my head. <laughs> so it takes a while to shave the head, and then I'm like, Sh I have to take a shower. And I'm like, alright, delaying the stream for an hour, because literally by the time I finished shaving my head, it was already like 14 minutes past the original time I set to stream. Again, dumb dumb brain. Anyway, we're gonna jump into Sam and Max. It's like 3D. And I'm gonna buy the other one, like, hit the road, but I, I thought this would be the one to jump into. <laughs> and also, it's the one I've seen the most memes of. <laughs> also, yes, I'll be blowing my nose, because other- <laughs> I mean, I appreciate that, because I know Max. Max is my boy. 
click to start. I've got my chat open, guys. Not that when anyone's ever in my chat, but <laughs> what is that? Like, is that a unicorn or a goat? I'm gonna say. Unicorn. And we've got beer. We've got soda. We've got boxes. We've got Midtown Cowboys. And of course, the max shaped bullet holes in the wall. <laughs> I saw that. You thought I wouldn't? I see everything. Oh, it's my mouse. Oh, that's why you mean like this. I just bought myself a new mouse because, like, my current mouse, my cat just keeps knocking it off, like, every night. And, like, now it's, like, having moments of being abused. So I bought one with a wire this time. Oh, come on. Give me a second. I gotta fix this. No, I don't want to quit. Alright, my mouse is just gonna suck, barely. Yeah, we're gonna play episode one. Now, I wanna hear Sam Max's voice. It's also the reason I have Polka Night at the inventory is because Sam Max. I also want to get Borderlands, only because I actually found that game fun. I should get Borderlands, but uh, I think at that point I probably should get a better gaming PC because my poor gaming PC. He's a lappy I got years ago and he is slowly dying from the amount of shit I put him through. He's done well though. He's done very well. Mostly because he's got a NVIDIA GeForce GTX processor. He's just a literally when I bought him, I was like with my brother going like, "All right, I need a price range. We're getting the best laptop for this." I wish they did more of this style of game nowadays. It's just one of those things that died, and I'm very sad. I know some of their other games are known for running badly, but I don't think I've heard anything bad about this one. Also, I don't know these characters, I just love them. I like how they were actually like just a comic at first, and then they got turned into a Telltale game by like one of the interns or something? I can't remember. But I love them. I literally follow someone on Twitter that just does Sam Max art, and I, I appreciate it. Look at Max! Oh god, Max. The flip Max is around. Hey Max. Also, like the voice from the old cartoon for Sam is also from a commercial I used to hear all the time, especially on the radio for like a furniture store called Leon's around here. And I remember as a kid, every time I heard that commercial, I'm like, Sam! Because <laughs> the same Ooh, voice actor. So much bobblehead. 
When are we gonna get another case, Sam? Surely the local lawbreakers must miss our esoteric brand of personalized criminal justice. Oh, the graphics. What's going on here? Patience is a sharp razor to swallow, little buddy. What's going on? Okay, don't scream this time. <gasps> ah! I got it! Five more pasties! Bad guy. Dead. Leave Swiss cheese by the rat hole, or you'll never see your precious phone alive again. Jiminy Christmas Eve in a padlock sweat box. Some misguidedly ballsy felons napped our phone. Okay, this is really bad. Let's go to settings. Game settings. On. Next, your graphics next. Graphics. Reason. Eerie. I just went cheese shopping. How did they know? Be sure it's Swiss cheese, right? And be quick about it. Ordinarily, I hate yielding to extortion, but I have to admit I'm half charmed by the sheer spunk of that oily little perp. Where'd you put the cheese, Max? Gosh, it was hours ago. You know I have the memory of a dried trout. Sadly, yes, I do. <laughs> well, I be somewhere in this room. Okay, cool. I fixed the graphics at the very least. One of these days, we're gonna finish that game. I'm still working on getting the rest of the darts from the police impound. Sam, I have questions! This might come in handy. <laughs> Don't do that again. Are they in the VCR? I bought that VCR at the supermarket. So you know it's a good one. Still smells like asparagus, though. Are they in the filing cabinet, Sam? Twenty years worth of electric bills take up a surprising amount of space. When I got this thing, I thought it would be useful. Where else would we keep the pieces of paper that we're never gonna look at again? Are they- uh -huh. Oh, there it is! Unfortunately, this is not Swiss cheese. So what? So, the rat was very specific about wanting Swiss cheese in particular. Whee! Good old Lou. 
Who's Lou again? The bowling ball, of course. We're taking the bowling ball. Lava lamp. Someone once told me that the contents of a lava lamp make an excellent hand cream. That was me! Which is why I haven't tried it. Two thousand two was a great year for calendars. I'm glad we stocked up. We've been going through them at a rate of about one a year since then. Remember our motorcycle trip through the Midwest? Just you, me, and the authorities from seven states. But those were quieter times. I love your smile, Max. Remember our trip to the moon, Max? Like cottage cheese through a strainer, Sam. You continue to baffle me, little pal. We'd really better not leave until we've taken care of this Swiss cheese ransom the phone deal. Hello, Mr. Spatula. How's the weather in there? Where's the rest of the news collection, Max? It's a surprise! Hmm. Max's desk? Max is... Hey, Max. When is it, Sam? Yeah. Does it feel drafty in here to you? Hey, you're the one with clothes on. Hey, Who do you think that was on the phone? Ooh, maybe it was the governor calling about my plan to secede from the Union. You bought all that cheese and not one block of Swiss? I don't like Swiss. It's got holes in it. You get less for your money. <laughs> do you ever wonder what life would be like if we were bugs? Short, I hope. Although I've always wanted to have more arms. Some days I can feel the atmosphere pushing on my head like a giant thumb. Some days I hide weights in your hat to see if you'll notice. Uh, Alright, we're getting back to work. Get to work. I couldn't agree more. I'm gonna examine Max's desk. Okay, he's making fart noises. Thank you, honey. No comment. Yoo-hoo, tiny hoodlums. Leave the cheese by the hole. Yoo-hoo, tiny hoodlums. Leave the cheese by the hole. Ah, <sighs> uh, yes, I remember that case. Particularly gruesome. More than normal. Still doesn't look like Swiss cheese to me. I got a gun! I got a boxing glove and I got a bowling ball. My bowling ball has Lou engraved on it. Put that in the rat hole! Apart from the holes, I don't think it looks much like Swiss cheese. God damn it. You're not letting me take care of the rat! Alright. Get the closet door again. When I got this thing, I thought it would be useful. Where else would we keep the pieces of paper that we're never gonna look at again? I bought that VCR at the supermarket. So you know it's a good one. Still smells like asparagus, though. Less I think right. Hubert could use some water, Max. I'm training him to fetch it himself. Uh. Nobody ever leaves us messages anymore. See you dying. Last month's donuts. Don't throw that out. I'm saving it for a science experiment. You bet, little buddy. Uh. 
How do I kill this rat? No comment. Hey. Still doesn't look like Swiss cheese to me. Come on. Still doesn't look like Swiss cheese to me. God fucking damn. Wait. Wait, I got an idea. I got an idea. We're shooting the cheese. Take that, you law-breaking dairy products. Sam, no! The cheese was innocent! Innocent? I think not. Voila, Swiss cheese. Or close enough to fool the casual observer, anyway. Don't say voila! Yoo-hoo, tiny hoodlums. Leave the cheese by the hole! Take the fucking cheese, you dick! Greetings! The members of the Benevolent Brotherhood of Vermin would like to thank you for your offering. The members of Sam and Max would like their phone back now. If you don't mind. I regret to inform you the situation has changed, and I am unable to comply with your request. A list of additional demands for the return of the phone is as follows. Now, let's discuss this calmly. Let's debone the smarmy little skis and see if the phone's in there. I ain't talking, coppers. Jimmy Two Teeth ain't no rat. Uh, well, I ain't talking. Help me help you, Jimmy. What the heck is that supposed to mean? I have no idea, but it always sounds good on TV. Look, I want to help you, but my partner is a little unhinged. I'm afraid I may be unable to keep him from harming you in some colorfully gruesome fashion. Let me at him, Sam! Eh, I can take care of myself. We've met your demands, we got you the cheese. Any honorable rodent would hold up his end of the bargain and give back our phone. Us rodents is not known for being particularly honorable. Look, I want to help you, but my partner is a little unhinged. God, I'm Sam, be more threatening! <laughs> Max, get out the cheese Adam, Sam. Eh, I can take care of myself. Alright, let's make a fucking deal. We'll go half easy on you if you'll just cough up the phone. Yeah, yeah, never happened, pig. Help me help you, Jimmy. What the heck is that supposed to mean? I have no idea, but it always sounds good on TV. Look, I want to help you, but my partner is a little unhinged. I'm afraid I may be unable to keep- Come on, Max! Putting you on set and skew you! Adam, Sam! Eh, I can take care of myself. Help me help you, Jimmy. What the heck is that supposed to mean? I have no Fucking idea. Fucking Jimmy! It always sounds good on TV. Jimmy, give me the shit! Look, I want to help you, but my partner is a little unhinged. I'm afraid I may be unable to keep him from harming you in some colorfully gruesome fashion. Let me at him, Sam! Eh, I can take care of myself. I'm about ready to wring your scrawny, trash-eating neck! You think you're scary? You don't know where his hands have been. Or when I last washed them. Who cares? I'm a rat, remember? A hey, dog face, your partner's giving me a headache. I'll torture your ears. Maybe you'd like it if we played you some music. How about Cat Stevens? Fine. Jimmy Two Teeth ain't afraid of no cats. Can I go now? I'll feed you, bro. I'm thinking about stuffing a light bulb down your throat, perp. Go ahead. I've been a little hungry, amateurs. Hand over the phone, or I'll make you lick my German crusted palms. Yeah, yeah, I've licked worse. Like what? You don't even want to know. Hey, dog face, your partner's giving me a headache.
You mentioned a headache. Would you like some aspirin? Oh, and while I'm at it, is there anything else I can do to make you comfortable? Are you thirsty, perhaps? Lights too bright? Well, that's sporting of you. Now you mention it, I really don't like being up here so high. I got me a thing about heights. They make me nervous, you know? Oh, really? Don't like heights, eh? How'd you like it if I dangled your greasy hide out the window? Hey, you wouldn't. <coughs> Wait! I warn you, I'm known for my fuzzy white butterfingers. It's true. You should see him trying to tie an ascot. All right, all right! Have mercy! I've had mercy. It was unpleasantly gooey, like, well, like things that have fallen onto pavement from a great height. I give up! Take your phone and let me go! Ah, oh, for the love of... I wish I could unsee that. Can you see him fair as fucking no? Yes. Great gouts of steaming magma on a beeline for the orphanage. We're on our way. <laughs> Ow! Where's the rat? I let him go. Who was on the phone? It was a commissioner, Max. Multiple reports of malfeasance in the neighborhood. Oh, joy! That's my second favorite feasance. Idiot. <laughs> We've got to get down to the corner store right away. Alright, let's go! First, we're gonna turn on the lights. Feels dark in here. Alright. Alright, now we're gonna leave. Come on, Sam! Max! Alright, actually. Let's go this way. The soda! Where are we going, Sam? No place. Never mind. Bosco's inconvenience. Have no fear, simple citizens. The freelance police are here to keep the peace. Violently, if possible, you called. It's just you two? Where's the SWAT team? Where's the National Guard? Where's NASA? NASA? Hold on, Bosco. What's the problem? What's the problem? It's a terrorist. A munchkin terrorist. He'll be the death of us all. My dude, uh... Where is this Lilliputian agitator? Are you blind? He's right there! Yowzers, that is one ugly ki Hey, I know him! Oh, that's right. It's one of the lovable scamps from that 70s TV show about the singing soda jerks. The soda poppers! Isn't he the one with the bladder control issues? Yeah, Wizard! He's a former child star? Oh, just lock him up and throw away the jail! Exactly what is the nature of Wizard's malfeasance? He's delivering videos I didn't even order. Brady Culture's Ibo? What is that? Oh, it's something bad, I can tell you that. Videos. And look at that display. It's subversive and hideous. I don't know any white guy with a fro like that. I hear that. Any idea why a freakish relic of the 70s would unload videos in your store? Think about it. No individual acting alone would ever deliver videos of his own volition. <laughs> it makes no sense. I smell a conspiracy. I think you're just catching the hot weenies in an updraft. <laughs> no, it's definitely a conspiracy. He knows the difference. All right, any other complaints? Any other heinous terrorist activities to report? Yes. He keeps using my bathroom. Who knows what he's doing in there? I think I know. So, we've got an unwanted video dumper and serial leak taker. <laughs> Not even the National Guard can help us now. Have you actually witnessed this Ivo video with your own eyes? Only a fool would watch a strange video. You watch it. And, uh... So all this wizard character's doing is delivering videos. 
and abusing his bathroom privileges. That's it? Did he steal any of your overpriced merchandise or at least try to disembowel you with a sharpened spork? No way. I've got BTADS, the single most technologically advanced security system ever conceived by the human mind. BTADS. BTADS? Is that one of those acronym things I've been hearing so much about? <laughs> yep. Bosco Tech Automated Defense System. I made it myself. Wow, I always wanted to automate my defense. How does it work? Well, just pull a weapon. You'll see. Or try to walk out of here with something. Go ahead. I dare you. Maybe we will. At the risk of sounding callous, how come your fancy pants defense system can't even stop small bladder boy over here? It was designed to keep people from taking stuff out of the store, not from bringing it in. All right. A rare case of reverse shoplifting. Shop dropping? Mm, yeah, I suppose so. What sort of malevolent forces would conspire to burden you with unwanted video cassettes? Oh, they've all got it in for me. The government, the media, <laughs> the mafia, aliens, sentient computers, my mother, Niels Bohr, Switzerland, headlights, lint, pastrami, hairspray, Stop self- Stop right there! Hairspray had no part in this. Oh, sure. That's what you'd like to believe. I <laughs> forgot! I think we got it. Okay, anything else? Nice place you got here. What's so nice about it? I like the name. This <laughs> goes inconvenience. Nice name. It's true. It really is inconvenient. Well, thanks. I try. What's with the maximum security prison motif? You've been robbed as many times as I have. You do the same. I've never been robbed, actually. But then I typically point a large firearm at anyone who approaches me. You crack me up, little buddy. I fucking love your accent! Nothing else nice. What were we talking about? We'll chat more later, Bosco, but right now it's time to get up close and personal with that pint-sized evildoer. Stop that crazy man before he kills us all! Alright, chill, Bosco! I love you, but chill! Oh my god, he's gone? What should we do about Wizard and his reverse shoplifting? Unwashed violence is one of my favorite techniques. Bosco's got a lot of interesting, if questionable, products in here. I think it's the only store in town where they carry those albino monkey crackers I got hooked on in Borneo. Do you smell something funny? Like the feet of the howling damned? There's a leaky can of aerosol meat in one of the aisles. Aha, uh -huh. I thought I recognized the scent. I'll let you get back to your shopping, or whatever it was you were doing. Sometimes it's best not to ask. Fair enough, Max. All right, we're gonna. Free videos. Don't mind if I do. Brady Culture's Ibo for ocular fitness. The revolutionary isometric exercise. What's so revolutionary about it? See through walls and clothing. Roll your eyes at lightning speed. Lose five pounds of eyeball fat. Oh, good. I can never seem to lose that last five pounds. What do you say we start office movie night a little early today? I'll bring the caramel-coated sugar logs. Hey there, Mr. Wizard. No need to be formal. My friends just call me Wizard. And so do my enemies and lots of people like you I've never met. Everyone calls me Wizard. What exactly are you doing here? Delivering videos. Take one. They're free. What's the story with these videos? Brady Culture's Ibo is the ocular fitness regimen for people on the go. Did Bosco actually order this many videos? How should I know? And did I mention they're free? 
What, you just deliver them whether people order them or not? The word must be spread. Ibo is the path to enlightenment and ocular fitness. Hmm. Who exactly is this Brady Culture fellow supposed to be? And what kind of steroids does he use on his hair? Brady Culture is a genius, and his Ibo program is a boon to all mankind. Ooh, a boon! Why don't people use that word more often? And did you know he was the star of Culture's Clubhouse in 1970? Fascinating. It's a child star bonanza. What can you tell me about Ibo? Ibo is a revolutionary new program of isometric exercises to promote ocular fitness. You can learn to move objects with your eyes, even see-through walls and clothing. What if I don't wear clothing? You gotta watch this tape. It changed my life. Don't these things usually have celebrity endorsements? What am I, chopped liver? Oh, right. Sorry. Well, that's nice. What is? Uh, well. If you'll excuse us, we've got shopping to do. Take a copy of the Ibo video while you're at it. It will change your life. We got one, thanks. Nachos. They're mine, nachos. Say, Max. I am not getting in that thing again. It took me weeks to get the fishy smell out of my fur. Public restrooms. Unholy temples to all things unsanitary. <laughs> Why do I feel like he's talking to me like it's a PC? <laughs> okay, Max! Uh-oh. Time out for number one. Looks like he opened his floodgates. I hope he enjoys it as much as I did. It's currently being terrorized. Say, Max. I am not getting in that thing again. It took me weeks to get the fishy smell out of my fur. Ooh, fun. Uh-oh. Time out for number one. The crate that delivers Bosco's terror. Max, I've got a great idea involving you, a microwave, and six feet of aluminum foil. Go on. Maybe another time. Uh, I have many questions. Nothing like a gaggle of security cameras pointed at a guy to make him feel at home. I'm comfortable with it because I'm uncommonly photogenic. Sludgies. With 100% all natural sludge. This week's flavors wheatgrass and meatloaf. I think it's the tinge of green that makes this coffee especially appealing. I take my coffee green, like my men. Um, uh, Max, I have questions. No thanks. I brought my lunch today. One dollar lottery tickets. Two dollars. I'm feeling lucky already. And I feel like it's time for us to go. Sam, it's another one of the soda poppers. Wow, what are the odds? Say there, soda man. Oh, you made me mess up. Now I have to start all over. Specs, it's you. Wow, an actual celebrity vandalizing our neighborhood. This is great. Thank you, Max.
Tell me something about that trendy modern street art you're perpetrating. What about it? How did you select your subject matter? He looks like a fried egg! It's Brady Culture. He's the genius behind the Ibo Ocular Fitness Program. You really should try one of his videos. I'd rather try a fried egg. Ibo sounds like an electronic archery toy. Ibo is the truly visionary ocular fitness program. Try the video today. Enough about Sounds fascinating, but enough about that. You can never get enough of Brady Culture's Ibo. I. Is this art, or is it advertising? I, I, I'm not. Is there really any difference? Good point, little buddy. Do you live to paint, or do you paint to live? I don't know why I do it. I just have to paint. Are you aware that vandalism is illegal? And worse, unoriginal. We like to punish people who do it who aren't us. How could this be vandalism? Everyone loves Brady culture. Did you take lessons to learn how to do that? No, it just came to me one morning. This morning, in fact. Is the paint supposed to go outside the lines like that? What? No! Where? <laughs> I'm just pulling your dwarfish leg, my friend. Don't do that! Max, is that a fly in the paint there? What? No! Where? <laughs> just kidding again. And people wonder why I need therapy. Everybody! I'll leave you to it. But you have to agree to paint me next. Sorry, I only paint Brady culture. Remember our old car, Max? I said I was sorry. Max, what are you doing? Going inside. I bought that VCR at the supermarket. So you know it's a good one. Still smells like asparagus, though. Alright, we're gonna... Okay, Max, ready for that ocular workout? No! Stop! We don't have any popcorn. Sweet alligator dentures soaking in formaldehyde. That was close. Quick, before it starts. Hello, I'm Brady Culture. You may remember me from Culture's Clubhouse, the massive worldwide television hit that ran for six episodes in 1970. <clears throat> what you are about to see will change your life forever. So watch closely. Now listen up, you tasteless Philistines! You love me. You adore me. You want to name all your children after oh me. Oh god, what the fuck? I love you. I adore you. I want to name all my children after you. Sam, look! Ocular fitness, my eye. That videotape hypnotized Jimmy Two Teeth. I think I like him better this way. We've got to find this Brady culture and stop him before he hypnotizes every consumer of cheap self-help videos. Ooh, can I have his hair when we're done? Only if you keep it on a leash. His hair is alive! Can we... Let's check on Jimmy. I'm a little concerned. Jimmy, I get... Alright, Jimmy's gone. Alright. Alright, let's go.
Let's go. We found some shit out. Hey, Bosco. What can I do for you? About the Munchkin terrorism. Yeah, what about it? One of us needs to take a couple dozen elephant tranquilizers and call it a day. And you should take a few yourself. How can I be calm with a munchkin terrorist in my store? I think we got it. Okay, anything else? Mm -hmm. uh, we're heading See you later, Bosco. Remember, we never had this conversation. What conversation? The conversation we just had. No, see, he was just acting like he'd already forgotten the conversation. What conversation? Oh, brother. Alright, let's go. I need to do something with this guy. Hmm. They say graffiti is the poetry of our time. Just what we need. More lame poetry. Looks like there's going to be a lawnmower show. Great! I love riding mowers. They're like golf carts with teeth. Looks like there's going to be a lawnmower show. Great! I love riding mowers. They're like golf carts with teeth. They say graffiti is the poetry of our time. Just what we need. More lame poetry. <laughs> this place used to be Lefty's tool rental shop. Good old Lefty. I'll miss him. You couldn't stand Lefty. You once poked him in the eye with a number three socket spanner. Exactly! Good times. I mean, stop saying it would be down there, Miss him. Dead end. One way, dead end. Street signs are such fitting metaphors for the human condition. Remind me to refill your prescriptions. did say they were going to therapy. Welcome! You look like you could use some therapy! Not from a wide-eyed circus freak like you- Hey, it's another one of the soda poppers! Me? Right, you're, uh... Peepers! I don't know what you're talking about! My name is Civil Pandemic, licensed psychotherapist! <laughs> Are you sure your name is Sybil, not Peepers? Absolutely! Sybil Pandemic, licensed psychotherapist, that's me! He's trying to pull a fast one, Sam. Where's your gun? Violence is not the answer. Since when? Sam, we're dealing with a dangerously delusional psychotic here. Obviously. Sybil's normally a girl's name, isn't it? Must have been tough while you were growing up. Why do you think I became a licensed psychotherapist? I could psychoanalyze me! Analysis. Certainly! Tell me what's bothering you. You! Sorry! <laughs> it's not me, it's Max. Hey! He thinks he's a rabbit. I am a rabbit! See? Yes, well, I would recommend Brady Culture's Ibo video for this situation. Good eye health helps combat delusions. I'm a rabbit! Ibo? Yes, my runny poached egg-like eyes could use a workout. You won't regret it! Hmm. What's Hybro exactly? Ibo! It's called Ibo! 
It's a system of ocular exercises. So you can do push-ups? Why do they have the same purpose? Just watch the video. Who's this lady culture person? Brady! Brady culture! He's only the most insightful and amazing man of the planet, that's all! It's not Sean Penn? Not anymore! I'm so disillusioned! Have you got a copy of this cockamamie video? I'm all out, but they probably still got a truckload or two over at Bosco's! Enough said. Could we see your driver's license or some sort of ID, Sybil? My psychotherapy license is hanging over there on the wall. How about something with a picture on it, you obvious lunatic, you? I could draw one on there if it would put your mind at ease. Oddly, I don't think it would. Alright, let's see. Alright, uh, we're out. Excuse me for a minute, would you? Sure! Thank God! I've been locked in that closet so long I was starting to invent life stories for the mothballs. I've got to sit down. Oh my God! He's still here? Call a cop! You're in luck, ma'am. Sam and Max. We're freelance police. Civil pandemic. Licensed psychotherapist. Nice to know ya. Arrest that lunatic immediately! What's the charge? Assault! Kidnapping! Identity theft! Those are good charges. Some of my favorites! And what about Mopery? He locked me in the closet, and he's been pretending he's me! Gadzooks! Why? Well, these cases can be very complicated and delicate. There may be repressed feelings of inadequate transference, or latent unwarranted hypochondriac Freudianism. Come again? He's a complete whack job. Although, actually, now that I look closely, I think he's been hypnotized. <laughs> How can you tell? He looks so normal and lifelike. I'm a licensed psychotherapist. It takes a professional eye. Can we borrow your eye? We'll bring it back. Honey, no! <laughs> so... Great thundering jellyfish on the squishy road to mayhem. Hypnosis. Yep, that's what I said. What can we do? Are there steps we can take? Soothing music or perhaps some sort of invasive surgery? Shock treatment! Shock treatment! <laughs> the hypnotic state can be revised after rendering the subject susceptible to new input. Sorry, I don't speak psychotherapist. You've got to knock them unconscious to bring them out of it. Knock them unconscious! Now you're talking! I can demonstrate on this guy if you'll knock him out for me. Consider it done! Alright, cool. Uh, I'm pulling out the boxing glove, and when using it, I'll peep us! Whoa! Where'd he go? Hey, there he is. You attacked a licensed psychotherapist? How could you? Just comes naturally, I guess. I've got half a mind to stretch out for a little bit. I think you have to stretch the whole thing, or it rips. You baffle me sometimes, Max. Eh, right, let's see. Hey, give him the bowling ball. You wanna hold this, Peepus? I can see you! Please stop doing that! Alright. Hmm, let's see. Is there a light switch? Can you turn off the lights, lady? I feel better already. Impressive credentials. Thank you! Hey, those are mine. I'm Symbol Pandemic. Oh, of course you are, dear. Of course! Hmm. I think... I got an idea. Max almost lost a finger in a fan like that once. Yeah, but it wasn't my own finger. I think those might be iron-ons. 
Convenient and painful. A surefire hit with the average consumer. Hold all my calls, please. Hey, keep away from my intercom. You like turn hey, off. Hello. Uh, I meant the other Sybil. So you guys gonna take care of this imposter or what? Excuse us, we've got work to do. I'll say. All right. Oh, if we use the bowling ball and the think positive sign. Nah. God damn it, Max! Are you seeing him? What in the. Tiki? Tiki? Uh huh. Punch the fan? I'd rather punch other things. Alright. I'd rather punch other things. I'd rather punch other things. We punch Max. Max! Max, you ever hear of the term tough love? It's the only kind of love I know! Hmm. You're the fuck! You're taking out the fucking gun! <laughs> Shooting out the fucking light. God fucking. That may be the least relaxing sign I've ever seen. What about the one at the barbershop that says low fatality rate? I stand corrected. Ah, taxidermy. The dead aren't truly the kitsch of the living. And vice versa. You're an unfathomable well of something, Max. Max, I need you to do something for me. This guy's fast, and he's got good eyes, so I doubt I can sneak up on him. Take out his eyes, then! Thanks, you're a big help. Remember that time you had therapy? Yeah, the court will never make that mistake again. <laughs> Be careful not to break anyone while we're here. No promises. I wish I had my banjo right now. And I wish I had a five-gallon tub of orange marshmallow peanuts. That could be dangerous. Yours, too. Let's look around. Great idea. Ah, the tiki. Hold over from the days when you could sell all kinds of cheap crap without a successful children's television show. Envious? A little. Hey, peepers. Fibble! Right. You sure move fast for a man your age. Well, a constant diet of beverages loaded with caffeine and sugar gives me the blood pressure and heart rate of a hummingbird. Sam, what's the lifespan of a hummingbird? Hush, little buddy. He doesn't know! Shh! You're a dead ringer for peepers from that old soda popper show. I get that a lot, but I'm civil pandemic licensed psychotherapist. Right. You're under arrest for kidnapping and impersonating a psychotherapist. Ridiculous! I'd never do that. After all, I'm a psychotherapist myself. You're definitely a psycho something. Seriously, I'm going to have to place you under arrest. How long have you felt these compulsions? It started when we found the lady in your closet. Ah, that. No, no, she's my patient. It's an experimental new therapy I'm trying. What? He's the nut, not me. Sam, I'm getting confused. You're not the only one, little buddy. I'm not! <laughs> this young woman claims that she's Sybil Pandemic, licensed psychotherapist. Which I am. Yes, it's an interesting delusion. She thinks she's me! I am you! I mean, oh, you know what I mean. Jumping whack job in the throes of a complete identity fracture. 
one of you's having a schism. Personally, I'd pick you. No, pick me! Pick me! Buddy, I always pick you. Look, even if you are civil pandemic, I'm pretty sure locking the lady in the closet is illegal. It's called isolation therapy. The sensory deprivation channels the patient towards introspection and helps her confront her own identity. Should it bother me that that makes sense? Definitely, little buddy. Excuse me for a minute, would you? Sure. All right, we need to we need to get some. All right, uh, dial one. Turn off the so goddamn. Are you guys gonna take care of this imposter or what? What happened to your tattoo business? Don't tell me they actually enforce those health code violations. No, no, of course they don't. But a guy came in here and asked me to put a ship on his chest, and I misheard him, and, well, I decided to hang it up after that. It's funny. You're right across the street from us, and I don't think I've ever been in here before today. Your friend has. He's always trying to con me into giving him some kind of weird tattoo for free. You could put a line on my head and some eyes on my butt, and I'd look like I was upside down. For the last time, no. The sign outside says you're open 24 hours. Isn't that a bit odd for a psychotherapist? Well, in my crowd, a lot of people think they're vampires. What would you say to taking a look under the old hood and analyzing my psychoses? Tell you what, I'll give you a free session if you'll take care of this nut job for me. I heard that. I think we need to discuss your feelings of hostility. Quickly. Excuse us, we've got work to do. I'll say. All right. Ah, the tiki. Hold over from the days when you could sell all kinds of cheap crap without a successful children's television show. Max, why are you over by civil? <laughs> a little. Alright, so I've tried a lot of things. You know what? I can see you! Whoa, where'd he go? Hey, there he is. You attacked a licensed psychotherapist? How could you? Just comes naturally, I guess. Hmm. Hmm. I feel like I need to get something. Hey, uh, Sybil. Excuse me for a minute, would you? Sure! Can I go to punch him and lock him in the closet? I can see you! Please stop doing that! Never! <laughs> Alright. Uh. Mm. Max, I'm feeling a little lost. I wonder if I can leave. Lady, you can let me leave. I'll be right back. We need to go get an item. Maybe if we buy something at Bosco's. Uh, Bosco, we need to buy some. Hello. Bosco, we need to buy some. Hey, Bosco. What do you need? We'd like to patronize your fine establishment, my good man. By patronize you, he means we want to buy stuff from you, not mock you. We probably will mock you, but that's not what he meant. I know what he meant. Don't patronize me. So, what do you want to buy? Do you have any weasels on a stick? Nope. What else is he going to say? Do you have any two-handed broadswords? Nope. 
All right, what do you got? What have you got? Well, I I've still got that big sale on cheese. Oh, yeah, cheese. I want that. And I might have another item of interest behind the counter. Okay, what's behind? I accept your thinly veiled invitation to ask about the item behind the counter. Oh, it's just a little something. I like to call a tear gas grenade launcher. Tear gas grenade launcher? Oh, yeah, I really want that. Well, it's the latest in Bosco Tech innovation. It'll clear out any room in no time guarantee. I feel really close to you right now. Thanks. We want the tear like gas. Tear gas grenade launcher. That'll be $10,000. 10,000 bucks? We'll have to give out like a million tickets. Well, one really big one. You mean... White Collar Crime Drive. Where corporate criminals go to rejoice in their ill-gotten gains. After we blow this popsicle stand, we can go hunt us up one of those starchy cess piles and hit them where it hurts the most. Right in the pocketbook. That's not what I thought you were going to say, but that's good too. Do you have any vegetables in the shape of famous naturalists? Nope. Nothing for us right now. Okay. Uh, say Bosco. Thanks, Bosco. Sleep with two eyes open. All right, come on, Max. We're going to go issue a ticket for a lot of money so we can get the tear gas launcher. We're gonna go arrest some rednecks. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Where are we going, Sam? Let's go cruise for lawbreakers, Max. Goody! By the way, Sam, I'm not sure if I mentioned this, but I may have accidentally chewed through our brake lines. No, I don't think you did mention that. I guess we'll just have to slow down by violently rear-ending other motorists. Already planning on it, little buddy. I'm just gonna rear end everyone. Let's go. I need to find someone to rest. Man. Need to find someone to rest! Thank <laughs> you. 
This is fun. I know what I'm doing, but I know it's not fun. But I'm trying my best. Attention, fellow drivers. If, for any reason, we need to address you, we'll indicate it simply by crashing into the back of your vehicle. Thank you! People of Earth, we come in peace! Just kidding. Prepare to die! <laughs> Thank you, Max! <laughs> Hello, we're freelance police. And you're not! Ergo, we call the shots around here! Oh, why did you stop me? Your taillight's busted. No, it isn't. Well, maybe it should be. Mental note. Try to pull over suspects who are actually guilty of something. <laughs> hmm, no one seems to be breaking the law today. I know! What's the problem? Start committing some crimes, you sick bunch of reprobates! Is that the fine zone is breaking the law? Alright, that's gonna be hard. You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. 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 You look fine. No, you're fine. Fine.
Fine. Fine. Fine. Take the wheel, little buddy. With pleasure. Please accept my condolences for your taillight. Sam one, tail. Now that I know that goes there, I can loop around. I could do this all day. Please accept my... Honey. Greetings, anonymous motorist. If you were planning to bribe us, now would be the appropriate time. What's the charge? Your taillight's busted. But you're the ones who broke it. Your point being... Hmm, what's the fine for a broken taillight? Why, isn't it $10,000? What, are you crazy? One second, allow me to confer with my legal counsel. <clears throat> My attorney has advised me to pay the fine. Now, if you'll excuse us, we got some accounting to do. Thanks, sucker! Yes! Yes! Alright, I figured out how to do this. Alright, we're going back to the office. Let's go! That was a lot of fun, though. Alright, let's go over here. It's a lot easier walking. So I need to go to the convenience store to get the tear gas. Which then I can use on the perp there, capture him and knock him unconscious. And we can test out this hypnosis thingy. I'm gonna check the gumball machine actually. Looks like he's got Boston baked beans in there this month. How do they stay fresh? They don't. Alright. Hello. Hey, Bosco. Hey, Bosco. What do you want? We want to buy something. We want to buy something. Ah, what you got your eye on? We got your tear gas money right here. Really? Well, all right. Here you go. One tear gas grenade launcher. This is a salad shooter filled with onions. But it works. Trust me. Trust me. Now put that away before someone gets hurt. What do you mean? Sam? The 10000 just covered the cost of materials, you know? Oh, I'm sure. It's okay, everybody. I'm all right. All right, we're going back out. Come on, Max. Max, we're leaving. We got places to be, bitches to... Bitches to see. Because I am with uh, the entire ship community that these two are gay! <laughs> Especially Max. Max is not a straight person. <laughs> There's something gay about him. I don't know what it is. Everything probably. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna tear gas this guy. Still can't believe I turned 10... Ugh. 
so bad. All right. Oh, Sybil. Yes. Uh, the other Sybil. What is that? Don't worry. This won't hurt a bit. <laughs> but it will make you cry. I can see you. Whoa, where'd he go? Hey, there he is. You attacked a licensed psychotherapist. How could you? Just comes naturally, I guess. All right, we need to hit papers a lot more with that thing. Oh, Sybil. Okay, I have to hit him really hard with this. So. Oh, Sybil. Please, Sam, allow me. Now, Peepers, this is going to hurt us a lot more than it's going to hurt you. Just kidding. It'll definitely hurt you more. Sweet dreams, peeps. I can see you. <laughs> oh, my, that was great. That was great. I mean, wait, my evil plan is being threatened. Good thing I have the other two twerps to handle it. <laughs> uh, it's still not quite right. <laughs> nice work, you two. Now I can try to bring him out of his hypnotic state. Take control of your mind. I don't think he can hear you. Sure he can. He's unconscious, not dead. Minor detail. Destroy the intruder in your dreams. Regain control. What? Hey, what am I doing here? What's going on? Sybil? My name's not Sybil, it's Peepers! Oh, yes, it is. Are you okay? How do you feel? I've got a bit of a headache. I had the weirdest dream. And there was someone unusual in your dream, wasn't there? Yes, Brady Culture was there. He kept telling me to do stuff. Aha. Uh -huh. I knew it. That fiend hypnotized you to do his unspeakable bidding. Peepers, what's the last thing you can remember? I remember checking in at Brady Culture's home for former child stars. He has his own nut house? Wow, we gotta meet this guy. Where can we find this home for former child stars? Oh, it's very secret. No one must ever find it. Think of the scandal. But we need to find it so we can stop the madness, in a manner of speaking. I want to help, but I just can't remember where it is. Oh. But my brothers might. They went with me. Uh, hey, I, I didn't do anything really embarrassing, did I? Nothing a simple exorcism can fix. Oh, dear. Oh, come on. We're gonna... Okay, he's gone. Sybil. Hey, Doc. Hey, Sam. Thanks for taking care of that wacko. I wish there was some way I could repay you. Can you fix cars? Fix cars? Ours sometimes makes a noise like an orangutan with the dry heaves. Um, that's my fault. I've been keeping an orangutan in the trunk. Oh, never mind. I'm not much of a mechanic anyway, except with unicycles. The fuck, it's psychoanalyze me! I suppose you could psychoanalyze me. Hey, yeah, I could count your marbles for you. I have a license, you know. Will this be painful? Only if we do it right. Now, there are a couple things we can try. We could look at some ink blots, we could try some free association, I could interpret your dreams for you. Let's try ink blots! I just want to see what. How do ink blots work? And can we make them ourselves? It's easy. I just show you some pictures, and you tell me what you see. Your responses can reveal things like obsessions, or uh, obsessions. Take a look at this and tell me what you see. Let me see. Hey! <laughs> 
Yeah, yeah, yeah! The results of the last time I let Max drive. All right. Now, how about this one? St. Valentine's Day Massacre. <laughs> oh, this is beautiful. Scroll can I go to my, my Uncle Louis' moth eaten wallet? Quoted love notes from the space aliens. <laughs> okay, guys, no! Quoted love notes from space aliens. Alien love notes. Interesting. Now, this one. What do you see? To the neurosocket chair, chair and a crank of lanky albinos, the exhaust manifold of a bread truck, twenty nuns with machine guns. Twenty nuns with machine guns out for vengeance. <laughs> oh, this one. <laughs> oh, this is beautiful. The blotchy thing, a flash will dump to see your eyes. <laughs> More between two abstract shades. Never care, friend. Do it, Um. Yeah, we'll go. War between two teams of abstract shapes. You seem fairly focused on violence, but it's probably nothing to worry about. Thanks, Doc. What's free association like? It's a test of your reactions to things in your life. I say a word, and then you just say or do the first thing that comes into your head. Dance a samba, recite the alphabet, scream at the top of my lungs, that sort of thing? Hmm, interesting. Have we started already? No, but now we will. Ready? Is that the word? No, the word is tumbleweed. Tell me to punch a max. <laughs> Do you think this would work better if I lie down? Subject wishes to assume supine position. Trigger word apparently inducing sleepiness. Now try this one. Crown. Just do or say whatever comes naturally. Crown. The tiki. Ah, the tiki. Pulled over from the days when you could sell all kinds of cheap crap without a successful children's television show. Subject displays symptoms of ironic nostalgia complex. Home. What do you think of this free association stuff, Max? Seems like a crack of weak tea to me, Sam. Hmm. Dialogue with imaginary friend. Very interesting. Hey, I'm not imaginary. If you say so. Well, this has been illuminating. What's the verdict? I'll let you know after years of insanely expensive treatment. Anything to support small local businesses. We can always sell organs on the black market to raise the cash. Just so they're not ours, little <laughs> buddy. Alright, alright. Let's get out. Yeah, uh, uh, Let's go. Actually, let's save the psychoanalysis for later. Hmm, postponing responsibilities. Interesting. I'm judging me later! Alright, we need to go deal with the other two. Come on, Sam. Miss. We're gonna deal with... Alright, let's run. Run! Run, you bastard! Alright. Hey, quit it, brain freeze. Looks like this stuff doesn't work on people. Who... Let's see, run the plate. Hmm. Hmm. He's pretty distracted. Maybe we can just physically knock him out. Caffeine rush. <laughs> 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 
sweet carbonated beverages in the back trough. He's gone. Who would have thought such tiny legs could move so fast? Wow. You made me mess up. Max, what did you just... Alright, I have questions for later. Okay, Max, thank you. Tampering with the mail is a federal offense, punishable by fine and imprisonment. As we found out after the incident with the garden hose. Ah, memories. I once hid in that dumpster to escape a rampaging gorilla. I still don't know how she got out of the office. I was sure I locked the door. Takes me back to my childhood. It says they've bred a horse with eight legs. Does it run twice as fast? No, but it does eat twice as much. It says cloning rights activists are cloning themselves to create a bigger voting block. It works for locusts. Can't bring out the item in here. Children preserved fluids. I wonder if Bosco used the fluid sample I submitted. I hope not. Children preserved fluids. I wonder if Bosco used the fluid sample I submitted. I hope not. here organ trader self-loading weekly oh let me see that maybe if i talk to this guy again i can ask hey wizard hi my cousin's wife's dentist loved your show oh yeah we've always been a big hit with the dentists Gee, I wonder why. Hey, kids, guzzle soda like the soda poppers, and you'll need so much expensive dental work, you can kiss college goodbye. Max, your unbridled cynicism is like a breath of fresh air on a crowded subway. Any chance we could get you to sing the song from your old show? Yeah, the theme song. What was it called? It was called More Than Jerks. But I can't sing it. I'm too embarrassed. Aww. Are you anything like the character you played on the TV show? Yeah, like do you really have to hit the John every five minutes? Sometimes every three minutes. It's like having a superpower. It's the lamest superpower in the world! How about an autograph for my pal, Max? You could write, To Max, thanks for saving my life that time in San Remo. Gee, I don't really have time. I've got a lot more videos to deliver. No time? Don't they give you bathroom breaks? <laughs> Sure, but I don't sign autographs in there anymore. There was an incident. Didn't I see you on a TV commercial a while back? Yeah, what was it? Bowl cleanser, adult diapers, erectile dysfunction? All three! 
Come on, sing the soda popper theme song. No, I don't think so. What'll it take to get you to sing that song? We'll be your best friends. No. Are you sure you won't sing the soda popper song? I won't gnaw your leg off if you do it. No. Well, that's nice. What is? If you'll excuse us, we've got shopping to do. Take a copy of the Ibo video while you're at it. It will change your life. We got one, thanks. Alright. I think when I get close to Max, I just like fucking yeet him. <laughs> just yeet! One dollar lottery tickets, two dollars. I'm feeling lucky already. Mm, there's nothing for Bosco. Hey, Specs. Boy, you sure were a famous, oddly underdeveloped teen celebrity at one time. I'm still famous. Are you? Um, like a million point one times more famous than you. Well, we're really more known in the 18 to 34 year old repeat criminal demographic. So Specs, what are you up to these days? Any new projects? Yes, I have a new light in my life and his name is Brady Culture. He's the genius behind the Ibo Ocular Fitness Program. You really should try one of his videos. Sounds fascinating, but enough about that. You can never get enough of Brady Culture's Ibo. Didn't I see you on an episode of Celebrity Slap Fight? I was desperate. I was heavy into three ring binders at the time, and I needed the money. You got your clock cleaned by that lady from Old and in the Way. Never saw that walker coming. Say, how about an autograph for my pal? You can sign my butt! Make it out to Squinky. I don't sign butts anymore. People get ticklish and they move and it gets all messed up. I'll risk it. Sorry, I can't stop painting. This has to be perfect. What was that catchphrase you used to say on your show? It was like, you messed me up, or something like that. Huh. You made me mess up, which you just did. Thanks a lot. Oh, yeah. Well, that's nice. Excuse us, we've got important things to do. Don't we all? Fair enough, dude. All right. Max! I'm eating you. Max, get over here. I'm eating you into the sky. Oh, I can't do it in outside. <laughs> Damn it! Well, that lady said, like, I need to do something with the brothers, but, uh... <laughs> Maybe he's got something else to buy now that I bought the onion thing. Max, up. I don't know, we're doing something with your hand, alright. Bosco, I need to buy more shit. Because I can't use it in- Hello. Bosco, you got anything else I can buy? Hey Bosco, what can I do for you? Anything else I can buy? We want to buy something. Ah, what you got your eye on? We'll take that cheese that's just been sitting out in the open for everyone to touch. I can't scan it from way back here. You've got to bring it to the counter so I can ring it up. Do we have to do everything around here? Nothing for us right now. Okay. Thanks, Bosco. Don't take any nickels, wooden or otherwise. <laughs> Special on cheese. Only one piece left. You can never have too much cheese. Not ever. Special on cheese. Well, it is on special. And we are running dangerously low. 
Hey, Bosco. What do you need? We want to buy something. Ah, what you got your eye on? Okay, Mac, we want this cheese. Okay, standard cheese background check. I'll need to see at least six forms of ID, a valid federal cheese license, a completed organ donor card, a written release signed in the presence of a notary public, and your school report cards from the 9th through 12th grades. That's pretty inconvenient. It's okay, Sam. I can be brave. We'll just have to struggle cheeselessly onward. Nothing for us right now. Okay. Thanks, Bosco. Watch my back. <laughs> cheese, and I had to put it back on the stairs. Let's just return the cheese to its table. Okay. <laughs> Wait. Can I? <sighs> Discounted cheese is nigh impossible to pass up. I have a plan. If we give the cheese to Wizard. Hey, Wizard, want some cheese? No, thanks. I just want to deliver videos. Ah, fuck me. Wait. Max, I'm gonna have you. Ooh, fun! Uh oh. Time out for number one. Okay. So, put the cheese in a wizard's crate. No thanks. Wizard's crate. Put it in. If you really love someone, give them the gift of cheese. Oh, I just can't wait to see the look on his face when he gets it. Yes! What the? Time out for number one. We're saved! That's a whole lot more entertaining when it's not happening to me. It's pretty entertaining either way. <laughs> oh, he wet his widow pants. <laughs> classic. Just classic. Except, hold on. My evil plan is in jeopardy. Who dares to oppose me? Hey, that was pretty good. <laughs> better, better. Hey, you just gonna leave him there? Uh. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, take control of your mind. Is it working? I don't know. Destroy the intruder in your dreams. Snap out of it, you big baby! What's going on? Where... Where's the bathroom? He's back. Quick, act like a chicken. No, tell us where we can find Brady Culture's home for former child stars. We've got to stop that fiend from hypnotizing <laughs> anyone else. The home? It's at 227... something. Specs would remember the street. He always does the navigating. Can you take us there? Heck no! I've got to take some time out for number one! Well, that was helpful. Hmm. We've done about everything, I think. Alright, we just need to find something to do with, uh... Or... Now we just need to deal with specs. I can't use the end gun on specs. What if he is Mr. Bowling Ball? No dice. <laughs> no can do. Nah. Nope. Do it with the beans? Nah, he might put something better in there next month. No thanks. Hmm. 
Hey, a can of spray paint, and it's not even empty. Caffeine rush. He always sees us coming. You made me mess up. Caffeine rush. He always sees us coming. You made me mess up. If he is it on the graffiti. I don't want to get into a paint fight, Mike. Hmm. I use it on the fan. That doesn't need another coat. That doesn't need another coat. Alright. If I start doing one over here, no. I don't think I want to throw anything away today. Thrift is a gift, they say. Actually, I just don't want to open the dumpster. Some pretty unsavory things get left in there. Mm. Hey, what if I... Hey, quit it, brain freeze. Looks like this stuff doesn't work on people who... Max. Max, get back here! Max! Alright, fuck. They say graffiti is the poetry of our time. Just what we need. More lame poetry. Wait, what if we fuck up this one? This could use a little improvement. Hey, hey, hey! You messed it up! Oh, now I've gotta fix it, brain freeze. Go fuck up the other one. That doesn't need another coat. That doesn't need enough. Well, I've gotten them moved. They say graffiti is the poetry of our time. Just what we need. More lame poetry. Wait. Ah, now that he's under a window, we can drop a cannonball! Oh god, yeah, let's do this. We're putting a loo outside the window. Can you believe we get paid for this? I love this country. You made me mess up. <laughs> now this is quality television. Wait a second. My evil plan is in ruins. The dog and bunny will rue the day they crossed me. Rue the day, I say! <laughs> well, we've admired our handiwork long enough. Maybe just one more second? Okay, let's go. Alright, we need to go down and we need to get the thing from him. I like how we got a fish in our fountain. Alright, spec, we need to do something with spec. Alright, specs! Take control of your mind. Destroy the intruder in your dreams. Nicely done, Sam. You're a natural. Wh where am I? Who are you? Don't worry, we're freelance police. Police? Oh no! Quick, follow that soda popper. Are we doing the driving? 
Hurry, Sam. He's getting away. the wheel, little buddy. With pleasure. Got him. Yes! Alright, buddy. Don't shoot. Aside from the fact that we just plugged your truck, why would you think we'd shoot you? Except for the obvious sport value, of course. <laughs> It's just, you always see cops on the news beating up on some guy just because he's a former child star. We would never dream of hurting former child stars. We just need to find the home where Brady Culture keeps them. Oh, why didn't you say so? It's right over there, across the street. Jumping elephant fleas. How devilishly convenient. Thanks. Uh, does anyone know how to change a tire? Oh my god. Ah! Ah, he's like. Hey, monkey! Disturbing little monkey. Reminds me of a job I had once. You were a monkey? Essentially. I mean. Okay. Hmm. It says here they only treat patients with something called. Artificial personality disorder. Sounds tasty. What's in it? Apparently, it's common in former child stars. Symptoms include, uh, let's see, obsession with money, violent reactions to dentistry, and an unconscious desire to marry one's mother. Forsooth. You don't even know what that means, do you? No, but it sounds all classically literate. I love you, honey. Whee! Looks like a shifty character to don't me. Don't they all? Get back here, Max! I'm eating it into the sky! Max! Get out of here! You're being yeeted! You're being yeeted! Cause I need- Yeah! I guess this is where you stick your admission form. Alright, uh, exit door. This one's very locked. I think I was just like. What do we do? I recommend we find a qualified professional to fill out that form and sign it. The power of Ibo. Looks more like the glower of Ibo. Alright. Let's go back to the car. And we'll get uh, Miss. What's her name? Where are we going, Sam? Back to the office. Sam and Max, freelance police! Alright. Alright, we need to go over to Miss Lady. Yes! <laughs> like, I can just yeet him! Just, just Max, get back here! You need to be yeeted into the sky again! Get back here, Max! Max! You haven't been yeeted into the sky for a minute! Moving up. <laughs> I just need to yeet him into the sky. Alright, Sybil, let's go. Sybil, I need to fill out a fucking form. Sybil, fill this Do you think I might have artificial personality disorder? Hmm, interesting. Symptoms include, uh, let's see, obsession with money? Violent reactions to dentistry, and an unconscious desire to marry one's mother. Hey, I know! I could psychoanalyze you! Alright. I'm gonna be right back. 
I have to go use the bathroom really quick, and then I'll do this part, and then we'll probably end the stream. I don't know how long I've been streaming, to be quite honest, but ah, we'll assume it's been a while. What time is it? Yeah. I'm gonna go pee, we're gonna finish this area, and then we'll save. Alright, BRB. BRB. We're back, and we're gonna do. Let's do the. Can we do some more ink blots? Those are entertaining. Sure. Let's take another look at your unseemly obsessions. Take a look at this, and tell me what you see. Uh. Susan Lucci holding an Emmy. I see. Now, how about this one? An SUV crashing into an opulent mansion. And this? Coded love notes from space aliens. Alien love notes. Interesting. Now this one, what do you see? Elephants at the New York Stock Exchange. And this one? That blotchy thing that a flashbulb does to your eyes. Hmm, your responses are kind of all over the map. I can't tell a whole lot from them. Sorry. Thanks, Doc. Do you think I might have artificial personality disorder? Maybe, but people with APD are known for their obsession with money. Mm. Alright, let's try that. Can we do some more ink blots? Those are entertaining. Sure. Let's take another look at your unseemly obsessions. Take a look at this and tell me what you see. Pennies on the eyes of a dead mime. Interesting. Now, how about this one? Money ones. An SUV crashing into an opulent mansion. And this? My Uncle Louie's moth-eaten wallet. Now this one, what do you see? Elephants at the New York Stock Exchange. 
and this one. Mm -hmm. A debit card fed through a document shredder. Hmm. Well, judging by your responses, you seem to be fairly obsessed with money. That's a symptom of artificial personality disorder. I'd better mark it on your chart. Very interesting. We should test you for the other symptoms of APD. Whatever you say, Sawbones. I'm not a Sawbones. I'm a psychotherapist. Tomato, tomato. Hey, I'm getting hungry. Goddamn X! Let's try some more free association. That will tell us more about your unreasonable reactions to the elements of your life. Remember, I'll say words, and you just do or say whatever comes naturally. Ready? Sure, go ahead. Cow. Your sign is crooked. You ought to straighten it. Subject exhibits proclivities for order upon hearing trigger word. Possible OCD. How about this word? Drill. Relax. Who says I'm not relaxed? Oh, right, we're freely associating. Sorry. Dryer. Max almost lost a finger in a fan like that once. Yeah, but it wasn't my own finger. Trigger word induces grisly memory in subject. Possibility of Finfelter syndrome. Well, this has been illuminating. Am I sane? The jury's still out. Your reactions didn't tell me anything conclusive. Do you think I might have artificial personality disorder? Maybe, but people with APD are known for their violent reactions to dentistry. Alright, let's try more of this. Let's try some more free association. That will tell us more about your unreasonable reactions to the elements of your life. Remember, I'll say words, and you just do or say whatever comes naturally. Ready? Fire away, Grizzly. Lug nut. Can we look at some pictures? Subject shows preference for inkblot test while undergoing free association test. Possible ergonomic schism. Fluoride. Just do or say whatever comes naturally. Alright, let's do the fan one. Max almost lost a finger in a fan like that once. Yeah, but it wasn't my own finger. Trigger word induces grisly memory in subject. Possibility of Finfelter syndrome. Teasing. Your sign is crooked. You ought to straighten it. Subject exhibits proclivities for order upon hearing trigger word. Possible OCD. Well, this has been illuminating. Am I sane? The jury's still out. Your reactions didn't tell me anything conclusive. Uh, Do you think I might have artificial personality disorder? Maybe, but people with APD are known for their violent reactions to dentistry. Alright, let's try the dream in on this one. Can you really learn anything from my grotesque, nonsensical dreams? Oh, absolutely. They reveal your subconscious. It's like peeling an onion. Youch! Now just relax and try to remember your dream. Okay, here goes. All right. My dreams always start in the office, but this time things were different. Mmm, yes, I can picture it. Tell me what happened. <laughs> I realized there was someone else in the room with me. Oh, you had a special guest. Who was it? It was me. You? Hmm. I think you represent yourself. I didn't even realize that was possible. Oh, sure. Any crazy thing's possible in psychoanalysis. Tell me, did the other you say or do anything unexpected? No, the usual. Hi, Sam. How are you? I'm fine, Sam. And yourself? Not too shabby. Fascinating. Where does your mind come up with this stuff? I didn't notice anything unusual there. Then why do you mention it? I don't know. Interesting. 
I noticed a plaque above the closet bearing Jesse James's severed hand. <laughs> well, only in a dream, huh? Not a thing was on TV. Suggesting you feel television is an intellectual wasteland, devoid of any and all worthwhile content. No, that can't be right. Mm. I'm prepared to leap out of the window. Oh, was that the end of your dream? No, wait, I forgot something. Oh, do continue then. I noticed something strange growing on my plant. Yes, the plant represents a source of sustenance. What was on it? Needles. It was a cactus. Hmm. Your sustenance is needles. Is there something you want to tell me, Sam? Yes, there is. This isn't costing me anything, is it? I remembered that I'd just gotten something from the bakery. Oh, sounds like you and your special guests there were having a little celebration. What did you get? <laughs> I got to say, but I can't get to the back of it. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna say, fruit cake. It was a fruit cake. A fruit cake. Hmm. The fruit cake uh, commemorates the day when your loved ones finally cart you off to the funny farm. Then you can be sure to expect a fruit cake from me, lady. Nothing unusual there. Dartboard? I noticed something odd on the dartboard. Oh, something you're shooting for. What was your target? It was a beautiful picture of a toilet brush. Mmm, Freud warned of this. Tell me, Sam, do you take pleasure in moving your own bowels? <laughs> I take pleasure in moving others. Thank you, Aspinet Also, Sam, Aspinet now. I noticed something peculiar in the water cooler. Ah, the water cooler, a source of refreshment. What was in it? Massive death dealing revolver. You subconsciously find revolvers refreshing? Oh no, it's quite conscious, I assure you. <laughs> this is not how this works, but I'm going anyways. The other Sam. I realized there was someone else in the room with me. Oh, who was your special guest? It was Max. It was Max. Ah, oh, yes, your imaginary friend. Excuse me, I'm standing right next to you, lady. In your dream, was Max doing anything unusual? Well, he was saying the Pledge of Allegiance to the tune of Camptown Races. I pledge allegiance to my gun, do-da, do-da. But that's not unusual. I noticed a plaque above the closet bearing Jesse James's severed hand. <laughs> well, only in a dream, huh? I noticed something weird sticking out of the rat hole. Mmm. The rats are pests. They represent something bothersome. Tell me, what was in the hole? It was that staple office knick-knack, the clacking balls. Not unlike the ones on your desk. 
Oh, do you not like the balls? No, Sybil, I don't like the balls. Well. Alright. I'm going to turn the cactus into something else. I noticed something strange growing on my plant. A source of sustenance. What was on it? It was a can of some unknown carbonated beverage. Uh, I think you need a dietitian, not a therapist. Eh. I had just gotten something new from the bakery. For a celebration, perhaps? What did you get? Cheesecake. It was a cheesecake. And I mean literally, a piece of cheese in a cake. What does that represent? No, that doesn't mean anything. It's just random nonsense. Okay, now we need to... It's cheese! Cheesecake! I had just gotten something new from the bakery. For a celebration, perhaps? What did you get? Birthday cake. It was an overly frosted birthday cake. Hmm, someone's another year closer to the grave, eh? Alright, the dartboard need to change something else. I noticed something odd on the dartboard. What was the target? It was a psychotherapy diploma. Interesting. Do you secretly want to become a therapist? No, I publicly want to become a therapist. <laughs> oh, you kidder. Please, try to be serious. Alright, something else. I noticed something odd on the dartboard. What was the target? A tattoo? It was a garish tattoo. Wow! Wow. That is so deep. In other words, you don't know what it means. No. I noticed something peculiar in the water cooler. A source of refreshment. What was it? It was a crisp new copy of Self-Loathing Weekly. Oh, that is refreshing. I never miss an issue. Hanging on the coat rack was a necktie in the shape of a noose. Oh my. Sam, I'm not sure how to put this, but I think you may need a therapist. Oh wait, I forgot I am one. Hey, I'm gonna leave out the window! <laughs> and that's gonna be the end of your dream? Fucking... Yep. Yep, then I woke up screaming. I can see why. Do you think I might have artificial personality disorder? Maybe, but people with APD are known for their subconscious desire to marry their mothers. Alright, so... Let's try some more free association. That will tell us more about your unreasonable reactions to the elements of your life. Remember, I'll say words, and you just do or say whatever comes naturally. Use your gun! Ready? Ready is a rooster taking a bath in barbecue sauce. Interesting choice of words. How about pastiche? <laughs> That's not a word, is it? Um. Oh, I lay on the couch. Do you think this would work better if I lie down? Subject wishes to assume supine position. Trigger word apparently inducing sleepiness. Polish. Your sign is crooked. You ought to straighten it. Subject exhibits proclivities for order upon hearing trigger word. Possible OCD. Shampoo. Relax. Subject reacts by attempting to self-induce relaxation. Could indicate nervous surplus condition. Well, this has been illuminating. Am I sane? The jury's still out. Your reactions didn't tell me anything conclusive. Do you think I might have artificial personality disorder? Maybe, but people with APD are known for their violent reactions to dentistry. Alright, let's do free association again. Let's try some more free association. That will tell us more about your unreasonable reactions to the elements of your life. Remember, I'll say words, and you just do or say whatever comes naturally. Use your gun! Ready? Yep. Credo.
can I sit in the tattoo chair while we do this? Me first! Trigger word induces unusual desire for tattoo in subject. Possible symptom of euphoric dyspepsia. Filling. Just do or say whatever comes naturally. Oh, that's a fucking gun! <laughs> God damn it. My, my, look at the time. Subject makes note of the time. Possible scheduling anxieties or childhood trauma. <sighs> Tint. Can we look at some pictures? Subject shows preference for inkblot test while undergoing free association test. Possible ergonomic schism. Thank well, you, man. This has been illuminating. I mean, oh, shit, lady! The jury's still out. Your reactions didn't tell me anything <laughs> conclusive. Do you think I might have artificial personality disorder? Maybe, but people with APD are known for their violent reactions to dentistry. Alright. Let's try some more free association. That will tell us more about your unreasonable reactions to the elements of your life. Remember, I'll say words, and you just do or say whatever comes naturally. Use your gun! Ready? Yep. Proliferation. <sighs> Can we look at some pictures? Subject shows preference for inkblot test while undergoing free association test. Possible ergonomic schism. Now try this one. Crown. Just do or say whatever comes naturally. Pull out the gun! Shoot in the wall. No. What about to bring out my gun? Is not enough for you, lady. Axe, what are you doing? Be careful where you wave that thing in my office. Oh, I'm always careful. Hmm. Violent reaction to the word. Very interesting. Comb. This reminds me of a cat I had once. Trigger word brings up memories of cat. No, no, the fox does. Brings up memories of fox. No, the fox. Oh, forget it. Causes subject to forget foxes. Possible Alzheimer's. Well, this has been illuminating. Yes? Your responses lead me to believe that you have an unusually violent reaction. Sweet, to use the gun. You should see him at the podiatrist's. It could be symptomatic of artificial personality disorder. I'd better mark this on your chart. All right. You have two of the symptoms listed on this form. Am I deranged? I don't want to alarm you, but probably. Can I have your hat when they commit you? Sure, little buddy. <laughs> All right, let's do the dream shit. <laughs> Pretty sure I have to pick. I tell you about another mundane but strangely compelling dream I had. All right, let's examine your disturbing subconscious desires a bit further. Okay, tell me what happened. I remembered that I'd just gotten something from the bakery. Oh, is there going to be a celebration? What did you get? What a cake? It was a wedding cake, ripe for the toppling. Oh, is somebody getting married? Hmm? I realized there was someone else in the room with me. Oh, who was your special guest? It was me. Yes, you represent yourself. I noticed something peculiar in the water cooler. A source of refreshment? What was it? Actually, it was empty. Hmm, nothing to refresh you, huh? 
interesting. I noticed something odd on the dartboard. What was the target? It was a garish tattoo. Wow! Wow. That is so deep. In other words, you don't know what it means. No. I noticed something strange growing on my plant. A source of sustenance. What was on it? The plant was bare, but for a single decaying leaf. How sad. Well, good thing it's just a dream. No. Not a thing was on TV. Suggesting you feel television is an intellectual wasteland, devoid of any and all worthwhile content. No, that can't be right. Nothing unusual there. Nothing unusual there. There it was in the rat hole. I noticed something weird sticking out of the rat hole. Something bothersome. What was it? Fish? It was a poor little fish, gasping for air, and yet totally unharmed, in case you're a member of an animal cruelty organization. Hmm, a fish out of water. Perhaps you're bothered by feelings that you don't belong. Maybe so. But trust me, Sam, you belong in therapy. Alright. The closet? I noticed something bizarre in the closet. Yes, we put things in the closet we want to hide away, things we're ashamed of. Please, Sam, what's in your closet? A hidden video camera. Hmm. I think someone may be secretly ashamed of his voyeurism. Nope, I'm proud! Damn it, Alex! <laughs> I noticed a plaque above the closet bearing Jesse James's severed hand. <laughs> well, only in a dream, huh? Nothing unusual there. I turned to leave the office. Oh, was that the end of your dream? Yep, then I woke up screaming. I can see why. Do you think I might have artificial personality disorder? Maybe, but people with APD are known for their subconscious desire to marry their mothers. Alright, have a- I'd like to tell you about another mundane but strangely compelling dream I had. Alright, I, All I right. need to figure this Let's out. Let's examine your disturbing subconscious desires a bit further. Pulling out the app. Okay, tell me what happened. Okay, aha. Uh -huh. I had just gotten something new from the bakery. For a celebration, perhaps? What did you get? Wedding cake? It was a wedding cake, ripe for the toppling. Oh, is somebody getting married? Hmm? Alright, and Sybil is apparently the representation of my mother, which I totally wouldn't have thought of, so whatever. I realized there was someone else in the room with me. 
Oh, who was your special guest? You. It was you. Well, clearly I represent your mother. Wait a second. Wedding cake, your mother... You subconsciously want to marry your own mother! Well, this is a blow. This is a definite symptom of artificial personality disorder. Yes. I mean, I hope it's not serious. I'd better mark this on your chart. Okay, cool. I did it! Wow! It must be artificial personality disorder! You've got all the signs! I bet I can get a paper out of this. Best ship me off to some sort of home for former child stars, then. I've signed this admissions form, but you'll have to arrange your own transportation. I'm about to be really busy publishing the details of your case. Since you're crazy, can I drive? Jumping vehicular homicide, no! Alright, cool. I saved the game. And we're going to quit the desktop. Alright, thank you guys so very much for watching the stream. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you want to see more of my streams, subscribe to me here on Twitch. I'll definitely be playing more of the Sam and Max games. I literally had to look up what I need to do for the dream sequence because I'm dumb and I never... My brain was not playing together that Sybil would represent the mother. I was just like, I don't know. I guess I'm just going to go through all this symbolism bullshit. Anyways, thank you so very much. Hopefully you enjoyed. I'm going to go get ready to go see a movie and have some fun. It needs some pretzel bites. Hope you all having a great day. All that good she has in. I may be streaming on Monday, hopefully. I'll see how I feel. So thank you. Love you. And bye. Bye bye. Bye. <laughs> like my brother said, you are like an angel to us because if you weren't here, this wouldn't be happening anytime soon. Proud of you, Maria. <laughs> no words. <laughs> Just cry. You got your future back. Yeah. 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 What are we gaining? I built you a great restaurant. You ready to sit? Yeah. yeah. I'm ready. I'm okay. ready. Count of three. One, two, three. Okay, you ready? Yeah. yeah. yeah.